Welcome back and thanks for making it this far. In the last video, we learned all about how to set up a bus compressor and how that can help glue your mixes together and give it a finished commercial sound. In this video, we're going to learn how to set up a vocal effects chain. Before we get started, it's important to note that simply by pressing the channel edit button here, it brings up the entire edit window. We could build all of these effects chains right here in Cubase's own channel strip. A lot of these effects are built on the same engines, including the EQ. So the only difference is really your workflow and the fact that by using the inserts tabs, you get the choice if you want to use your own collection of VSTs. So it's entirely up to the way you work. Let's start working on some vocals. So let's go to the lead vocal. This is Lynn's lead vocal. This sounds like this. Yes, I'm sailing away in the morning. Is there something I can send you from across the sea? All right, so we get a nice clean track to start with. And what we really need to do is build a basic vocal chain. So let's go up to our inserts tab. The first thing we're going to add is an EQ. So let's go down to our EQ sections. We're going to use the studio EQ. The purpose of this EQ is really just to remove any problems, but this actually sounds pretty good overall. We're just going to use that EQ in its current state. The next thing in our vocal chain is we're going to add a compressor. We could simply go up to our presets window here and click load and choose from a huge variety of presets in just about every genre to help you get started. But let's learn how to build our own. So we are going to start with about a three to one ratio. We're going to leave the attack about where it is. We're going to leave the hold where it is. We're going to keep the release pretty slow. We're going to keep it around 350. Leave the analysis button where it is. And we're going to change the makeup button manually ourselves. And we're going to bring the slider all the way up. We're going to use the makeup button to compensate for any level changes that we make with the vocal. Let's play back and see what we have. Yes, I'm sailing away. Thankfully, this isn't a wildly dynamic performance. We don't need to do much in the way of compression, but we're just going to bring the slider down until she just starts to hit those peaks. Yes, I'm sailing away in the morning. Is there something I can send you from across the sea? We're just catching the very peaks of her performance, so we're going to use the gain makeup button here to compensate for the volume that we've taken off from the compressor. Yes, I'm sailing away in the morning. Is there something I can... The next thing we're going to add in our vocal chain is going to be a post-compressor EQ. And this one is going to be just for tone. So we're going to use the studio EQ for this as well. We don't need the low-end shelf. And this is going to be to add whatever frequencies the compressor may have gotten rid of, like high end, for example, because compressors have a tendency to roll the high end off a little bit. The subtractive EQ gets rid of all the problems, and the post compressor EQ allows us to sculpt the color of the vocal exactly how we yes, want. Yes, I'm sailing away in the morning. Is there something I can send you from across the We're going to add a just a tiny bit of 3K. Yes, I'm sailing away in the morning. And that's just going to be to add a little bit of presence to the vocal. Everything else sounds really good. However, the vocal's a little sibilant now, as you can hear. It's got kind of some S's and T's and those kind of things. And we need to be able to take care of that because we want to keep that nice present vocal, but we don't want the sibilance that goes with it. So we are going to use Cubase's de -esser. And this is a great tool for taking a little bit of those really S-y consonants and spitty T's out of it. So let's start with this basic setting and hear what it sounds like. Yes, I'm sailing away in the morning. So on the word sailing, you can see that it's just taken off a little bit of that. We're going to lower, we're going to take it out of its auto mode and lower the threshold a little bit so, so it works a little bit harder. Yes, I'm sailing away. All right, so that's starting to sound really good. It's taken a little too much off, so we're going to reduce the reduction amount. If we crank this, it's going to do way too much work. Yes, I'm saying. It's going to take all the S's out completely, and it's going to make it sound like she has a lisp. So we just want it to take a little bit out, and really only at the very top of the vocal. Yes, I'm sailing. A little bit more. Yes, I'm sailing away. All right, so that's a great place to start. This is really just to take the S's and T's out of the vocal but keep that nice, breathy, bright vocal. 
The next thing we're gonna add to this is a mono delay. This is gonna allow the vocal to sit in the mix without necessarily drowning it in reverb. And this is important because in a singer-songwriter template, you want the vocal to be featured. It needs to be right up front and really clear. You wanna hear all the emotion from the voice. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the filters of the delay. And what this means, this is what the delay coming back to us is gonna sound like. In other words, how bright or dull the repeated delays are gonna be. So these are called filters. And we're gonna set that one about 120, and this guy we're gonna have pretty low. We're gonna have to set it at about, about 2.6, 2.5K. We're gonna sync this to the tempo of the project. So you can click this button on or off. If you click it off, it means you're gonna set the time manually. But if you click the sync button, that means it's gonna set the tempo for you, which is really convenient. We're gonna leave it at an eighth of a delay. We're gonna roll the feedback way down. We don't want a lot of feedback. And we're gonna start with no mix whatsoever, and then we're gonna bring it up slow so you can hear it. Yes, I'm sailing away in the morning. Is there something I can send you from across the sea? All right, that's a great starting point for a basic vocal chain. We've already learned how to set up global effects like reverb and other kinds of effects in our previous video, How to Create Buses and Sins. So if you missed that, go back and check it out, and we'll see you guys in the next video.